Hey, this is Pastor Frank with a follow-up to last week's message. We're in a series called Healthy Church. We're studying the book of Philippians. Last Sunday, Philippians chapter 3, the Apostle Paul in a prison in Rome writes to the church and says, Rejoice. He says, It's no problem for me to say it, and it's good for you to hear it again. It's a safeguard for you. Rejoice in who Jesus is. Rejoice in the person I described in Philippians chapter 2. Paul um, moves on in the chapter and he begins to warn a healthy church. You know what? Healthy churches need to understand the gospel and healthy churches need to protect the gospel. Paul warns this healthy church to protect, be on guard against people that would come in to your church and tell you that you need to become Jewish in order for the blood of Jesus to work in your life. 2,000 years ago, when the Gentiles got saved, they messed up the thinking process of the Jewish believers in Jerusalem what do we do with Gentiles? Do you guys need to become Jewish in order to be saved? And the answer, it's a huge thing. There was actually the first council in Jerusalem was about this. What do we do with Gentile believers? And Peter in Acts 15 and James says, we are saved by faith. Jews are saved by faith, not because they're Jewish. Gentiles are saved by faith, not because they're Gentiles. If you're going to be a healthy Christian, you've got to protect the gospel. Don't let anyone come and knock on your door in a, in a white suit and start telling you that you need to do other things in order to be accepted by Jesus. Some Jehovah Witness comes in, knocks on your door and says that you need to work your way into being one of the 144,000. A Mormon comes to your door and says you need to obey the, the Church of Latter-day Saints rules and regulations and the gospel in order to be saved. Not true. These people are adding to the gospel message. You can't do it. It's a great chapter. It's an awesome chapter. Paul goes on and says, I'm more Jewish than anyone else and I am saved by faith. It's beautiful, man. Hey, um, <clears throat> this, uh, you should be, this Sunday we're going to be having after the church a information meeting for those that want to go on our Filipino missions trip. We're going to be going to the Philippines this summer. And if you're interested in doing that, come to the meeting uh, afterwards. And by the way, in two weeks, we're going to be um, having a Meet the Pastors. If you're new to Woodbridge and you'd like just to stick around after church and just meet the pastors and hear about us and so forth, it's pretty cool. So that's what's happening. Hey, next week we're going to be in Philippians chapter 4. Uh, Paul begins talking about some issues that were in the church, but it's a really great chapter in the fourth chapter just about um, whatever is true, whatever is right. Dwell on these things. It's very cool. It's a great book. Read Philippians chapter 3 this week. Think about it. Know the gospel. Protect the gospel. Very important. God bless. See you on Sunday.